welcome or welcome back to Fairly Simple Living. I am so happy that you guys are here. I have um, a few extra pieces in the kitchen and then I also did quite a few things here in the living area. I am going back in and just adding in pieces to be able to walk you through what I'm doing. These pillows, I had to stuff them. I've had the pillows, I'll show them in the upcoming clip. Um, but I've had them for a while. I had those, the white covers for probably about a year. Um, whenever I got my puppy, um, he kind of sort of liked pillows. So I didn't want to put my new light color pillows out just yet. And now he doesn't like pillows anymore. <laughs> I believe that I'm probably gonna get a couple more of those. Those pillowcases, well I'll call it a pillowcase, but a pillow cover, I got those at Hobby Lobby, like I said, about a year ago. And I absolutely love them. Now the tips and tricks on how I got them to actually, let's see, where's my hand? Yeah, you see what I'm trying to do here? Show you guys right there. <laughs> um, show you guys how I kind of chop it. Um, but I will show you later on in the video how I was able to make those work for me. And let's just get into the video and I'll show you the rest of it as I go. Now this clip, it is filmed a few days later from when I actually filmed the actual video. So I am going back in and just adding in pieces to be able to walk you through what I'm doing or give you my tips and tricks on what I like to do. So let me go ahead and start that piece of the video and I'll be right back with some tips and tricks on how I got those to work for me, to be able to, <laughs> I'll be right back. These are the pillow covers that I bought at Hobby Lobby, and that is what I'm holding up to the camera. This is what the front of the package looks like. So if you go to look for those, I believe it said that they are $4.99 each, but do keep in mind, I did buy mine, like I said, I think it was about a year ago. My pillows were a little bit too big for the pillow case size that I had bought. So in order to make them chop on top a little bit better, I did have to take out some of the filling. So now I am going to move right along to undecorate. <laughs> if you notice, I still have Easter eggs on my mantle. So I'm going to undecorate the mantle area and then I am going to decorate the mantle area so that it will be good for the next few weeks. And that way it does allow for me to have extra time for other projects that I want to do. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this decorated.
I am going to be updating the entryway. Now the entryway will probably be changed up a lot because I do have something else planned, but not right now. So I do actually have a bench um, that I believe fits over there just fine. And I do have something else that's gonna be happening over here in the nook, um, hopefully pretty soon. So there's a lot that's gonna be going on, but this the little entryway piece will probably be switched up quite a bit. Kinda take the next couple of weeks to work on other projects and things that I'm doing. So right now, I am gonna give you guys a little tour um, and show you me decorating the entryway and I'll be right back. guys I did also find some things that I wanted to put in my kitchen a lot of my stuff is in storage so from time to time I'll go in there and pull out something I haven't used in a while and it feels like brand new because I haven't seen it in a while <laughs> but in the kitchen area I did also uh, make a few updates in there and I really like the pieces I put in there. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Here we go. Thank you so much for being here today. I always enjoy sharing my tips and my tricks with you guys. And I will be back hopefully next Friday with another great video for you guys. Have a great week ahead and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.